New technology is changing the way some farmers are making a living. 1011's Megan Johnson toured two different types of farms using that technology in similar ways. He's probably taking in about 24 pounds of dry matter a day. Hank Klosterman says they push more cattle through his family's feedlot now than when his grandfather started it at Grass Valley Farms thanks to advances in ag technology. This feed yard isn't a mom and pop feed yard anymore um, where it's, you know, you put the, the feed at the bunk and, you know, you the cattle come up and eat it and then, and then you market them. Um, everything we do here is down to a detailed science. Klosterman says they save money and sell their cattle for more profit when they use that science to calculate what a beef animal needs to gain weight efficiently. Getting about 87 percent. A few miles right. away, the Ruth That's family same. says technology right is changing now. crop agriculture too. Reducing um, seed, reducing chemicals, reducing uh, the amount of fuel that we consume, and at the same time using less water. So I think all those things coupled together um, greatly have an impact on the bottom line. Real time. Right? A seventh generation farmer, Jeff Ruth says precision farming helps them take better care of the land and resources they need to grow their crops. If you take care of the land, you take care of the environment and the things that are truly important to you being successful and sustainable, um, the monetary side of it, the business part of it will all take care of itself too. And then you got the scratch value over here. Which Producers say they'll need to do more with less to feed a growing global population. And both families believe buying and selling locally is part of achieving that goal. What he's doing in turn is going back and spending that dollar on Main Street um, for the local town. And that's huge to us. It just creates efficiency, I think, um, in, in being involved with local producers. Pulls the seeds up into this disc. It's still a business, but you're also maintaining and, and taking care of what you have because they go hand in hand. Reporting near David City, Megan Johnson, 1011 News.